It is not because of our purpose that we exist. It is because of the purpose of the one who created us. It is not our purpose here on earth, but the purpose of the Creator for us, creating us here on earth. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. We were born without our consent. Nobody of us was born because we consented to be born. We just have known that we are existing, we are growing up and realizing that we came to the earth not because we chose to be here on earth or our mothers or fathers have chosen us to be born. No, that is not the truth. We just know that we exist when we have our brains functioning giving us awareness that we really are like you. Asking me this question, what is our purpose here on earth? I'm sorry to say, it is not because of our purpose that we exist. It is because of the purpose of the one who created us. Just like this, the chair is there because somebody made the chair. The chair has no choice because the wood that was used in making a chair can be made also a table or a small stool, etc. But it is the purpose of the one making it that was realized when he made a chair. Now, a chair did not choose by itself to be a chair. Somebody made it. And the maker of the chair has the purpose of making a chair. I hope my example serves you right. You are asking this question to me because obviously you do not know what is the purpose of your existence. And if we are going to consult and investigate, you may ask your parents also, did you mean to have me as a child? Maybe your father may say, no, I was expecting a girl. I want to have a girl, but you came out. <laughs> or a girl may be asking her mother, do you really like that I will be the firstborn in the household? Maybe your mother will tell you, no, your papa is expecting a boy, but I love you because I am a girl. Maybe your mama will say, so what is not expected by both parents happened. It is because there is someone whose purpose has to be realized. And that purpose is, let us read. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, let us read, Brother Daniel. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. You cannot find the word purpose in that verse that I read. But you know what the verse means. We are His workmanship. We are His creation. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God had before ordained that is his purpose that we should walk in them so we came into being we exist for a definite purpose to do good works that is what God wants us to do in our lives to do good works. Even if you live a hundred years, but you do not do good works, then the purpose of your existence was defeated by yourself and somebody 
who dictates to you not to do good works. And that is another area of wisdom. Let us read in the book of Ecclesiastes 6.3. Let us read, Brother Daniel. If a man beget a hundred children and live many years, so that the days of his years be many, and his soul be not filled with good, and also that he have no burial, I say that an untimely birth is better than he. If a man beget a hundred children, imagine how long life can it be when you were able to have 100 children and live many years so that the days of his years be many and his soul be not filled with good. So the purpose of our existence is to do good, to be good, to do good, to adhere to what is good. That is the purpose of our existence. Even if you live a hundred or a thousand years, but you have not done anything good, the Word of God says, an untimely birth is better than he. Untimely birth sometimes results into death of the child. But it is better than to have lived a long life, having hundred children and living a thousand or many, many days and years. But you have not attained the purpose of your existence. It is better you have died before birth. That is what the Bible tries to tell us. What I mean is, this is what a human must always be seeking in his life. What is my purpose? What is the purpose of my Creator? What is the purpose of my existence? What is the purpose of me being a male or a female or a gay or a lesbian? We all exist, but we all must know that the very purpose of our lives is that God created us to do a particular role in life, and that is to do what is good to ourselves, to our families, to our friends, and even to our enemies. We have to do good.